Hey everyone, and welcome to The Daily Word. Really glad that you've joined me. And for today's Daily Word, we're going to go into Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14. There we read these words of Jesus. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Now, one of the, the things that's, that's so very interesting and I think instructive is to pull in Uh, John chapter 8 and verse 12, where Jesus says this. He says, uh, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life or the light of life. And, And so we have Jesus in one instance declaring that he is the light of the world. And on another occasion, as he's teaching on the Mount of Beatitudes there, he says to his followers, you are the light of the world. Isn't that interesting? And, and what, what surely is indicated here is the fact that if there will be light, and if you think about what light does, what it's used for, what it does for us, if there is going to be revelation, right? This is this is what, what light does. It, it reveals what is there. If there's going to be revelation of who God is, of who we are, if there's going to be revelation about what, what is it that's gone wrong in the world and what is it that God is doing to make it right, and if there's going to be revelation about the goodness and, and the love of God, and, and if there's going to be revelation about the life that is truly life, the life that is, is life in abundance, life to the full that, that Jesus came and He died and He rose again to give us, if there's going to be revelation, then that light, that revelation, will come from Jesus Christ and it will be reflected on His followers. In Philippians chapter 2, and verse 15, we read this, admonition that God gives to Paul by the movement of the Spirit. He says, live clean, innocent lives as children of God, shining like bright lights in a world full of crooked and perverse people. Now, one of the things that, um, that folks have observed, and it's not hard to see this, is that uh, our, our nation, unfortunately, it has, has begun to move culturally away from the Lord, away from the Christian faith that, that actually undergirds our, our nation. And, and this is obviously a, a very concerning thing, a very sad thing. But one of, one of the things to realize is that as, as our generation becomes uh, more, as the Scripture says, perverse, as our generation descends more and more into uh, darkness and chaos and disorder that comes uh, when, when we are pushing out and away from God, that that darkness uh, actually creates an opportunity for the light to shine with greater intensity. The, the thing about darkness is that it is simply the absence of light. And so when you turn on the light, uh, the light immediately penetrates the darkness. And, and this is who we are. we are. We are the people who bring the light of Christ into the world, who reveal the goodness of God, reveal life in Him, reveal His redemptive plan of salvation, and invite people to know the one who declared himself to be the light of the world. We, we serve him. We, we do good. We push back darkness in this world, things like, like need and brokenness, and, and, and we push back the, the darkness and evil in this world by 
the good by the light of Jesus Christ. And, and as we do that, we do that for a specific purpose. We serve in our community. We do good things to, to, to bring about the kingdom of God, things as God would want them to be, people uh, having enough to eat, people understanding His love, uh, marriages being made whole, broken hearts mended, uh, people who are being oppressed, sorely oppressed by uh, addiction and compulsions, knowing freedom in Jesus Christ. We do this good and we, we do it in order to reflect the goodness of God and to invite people into relationship with the one who is the light of the world. So they no longer have to walk in darkness, not knowing who they are, where they are, where they're going, but actually walking hand in hand with the one who is the light the true light of life. And, and so, let us therefore not be uh, a light that's hidden under a basket that doesn't make any sense, Jesus would say. Let us be that, that city on a hill. Let's, let us be that, that lamp placed on a stand, shining with the light, the goodness, the love uh, of Jesus Christ, of the gospel, for the sake of our community and for the glory of Jesus Christ. May it be so. In Jesus' holy name, amen, amen. And until we get a chance to speak again, friends, I pray that God would bless you and that he would keep you.